So one of the things that I consistently think about is, you know, technology is evolving at an amazing pace, right? We've seen, you know, the world coming to Mars now, we're talking about all these things. Are you scared that we're going to have a robotic invasion anytime soon? So, you know, you hear this conversation all the time. Actually, there was a time when everyone would say, you know, we'll have electronic medical records and patients will be able to have access to their data and the physician won't be really needed. What we found as time has gone on is that we've really evolved to, there's a lot of information that's available. And when you have information that's available, you have to do something that's called shared decision making. And luckily for us, AI tools and even robotic utilization helps us narrow down choices. But when you're making a choice for your healthcare, be it that you've just been diagnosed with diabetes or you're having a baby or um, you, know, you may have cancer, when you have all of that information, you're trying to decide how does it affect my family? Mm -hmm. How does it change my needs in my home? Are there different things that I need in my community? Those are things that you need a person for. And mm -hmm. so we like to say in healthcare and in medicine, there may be a lot of things that technology replaces. Mm -hmm. The care that someone needs is an area that you really need someone to help you decide that, to have that personal, emotional conversation um, sometimes, and to give you that support. And I think from a physician perspective, we're not trying to be that person for every patient, every consumer. We're really wanting to make sure that the right team exists. Is part of that team someone who can provide AI type tools, do it in a chat format, format or do it in other ways? Yes. But frankly, a pharmacist is part of that tool, that team. A nutritionist is part of that team. And so for us, it's really the evolution to team-based care so that it's not a physician making every decision. But if it's something that frankly can be answered by AI, need my appointment schedule, here are the five times that we're available. If you don't have to call a doctor's office to do that, and that can be done easily, that's a great use. If you've got pain somewhere and you're trying to decide should I stay home? Do I need to go to an emergency room? Can I make an appointment for it? AI can help with that, but there are a lot of times you're gonna to need to speak to someone to understand how do you make that final triage decision. So yeah, I'd say no, we're not scared about AI or robotics. We actually are looking forward to it and welcome it. It should help us be better in doing our triaging. So I should not be scared about my Roomba. I think we're safe. Okay, that's good. Roomba, by that. the way, is a great tool and product. Shout out to Roomba. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. no, don't so be scared of that. I guess I'll put it back on charging when I go home. <laughs>